A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together. And one of them, a lawyer, asked a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. As we've been working our way through this chapter of Matthew, the series is called the Controversy Series. And essentially, different uh, political leaders and religious leaders of the time are repeatedly de depicted as coming before Jesus to challenge him, to question him. Whether these were in uh, sincere questions, uh, this uh, passage in Mark, uh, there's a similar passage in Mark, uh, is written differently. The, the person asking the question is very sincere and it ends in a very positive note. And here in Matthew's gospel, we don't have that. Uh, and repeatedly, we have these different leaders coming and challenging Jesus. Uh, and whether they were curious or simply looking for um, fuel to uh, upcoming charges and to challenge him in uh, public um, court, uh, doesn't really seem to matter. Jesus uh, is answering consistently, uh, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. It's interesting that from the very start of our Christian tradition, uh, at least in the written form, that truly loving God and truly loving your neighbor and truly loving yourself is controversial. And I think that we still live in a world where uh, living this way, truly following Jesus and living the way that Jesus taught us to live is controversial. I think that there's a lot of issues in our civic life that just don't seem to make sense. Why is this the issue? Why do we have 20% uh, more food than the world needs, and yet people are still hungry? Why do we have people living on the street? Why are we even debating whether or not we need to take safety precautions to keep children safe during this pandemic? We struggle in our social life to truly love our neighbors, and somehow it becomes a bargaining chip. Uh, it continues to be the center of controversy in our civic and political life. And sometimes it's just this simple. Now, the solutions to the world problems are not this simple, but the commandment is. The commandment is to love God with everything that you are and everything that you have and to love your neighbor that is the way of the Christian life. That is the way of love. This is what our lives are to be about. This is what it means to live into our baptism covenant and to be true disciples of Christ. This is simple. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. Amen.